Hi, everybody. Hi. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we had one comment on our last video. I know. Th thanks to Patrick. I know. Killing it in the book review game. I won. He won. He won. Oh, no, I did a book review. Oh, right, yeah. Anyway, today we're going to do a quick little library haul and a reading wrap-up. So kind of what we finished and what we're working on. Take it away, Pat. All right. So I got two books in the library. The first one is Joan Didion's um, uh, The Year of Magical Thinking. Um, this will be my third Joan Didion I've read this year. Um, I'm Actually, I'm almost done with it. That's a lot in a year. Uh, I'm really, yeah. One author. Wow. I'm really, I'm really like, I, I'm a, I think I'm a Joan Didion fan. Cool. Um, this novel so far has been hard to read. <laughs> um, like, if you've ever, like, have loved anybody and then you feared that they were going to die... Well, you it's non-fiction, right? It is a non yeah, it's like a... So not a novel, it's like it, a memoir, right? It chronicles the year following her husband's death, and they've been married forever. Oh, man. No, and she's she's so good. <laughs> um, you want to go? Uh, well, yeah, How, you're liking it a lot so far? Yeah, I'll, I, I could finish it today, but if not today, tomorrow. Oh, wow, that's I'm quick. Moving along. Um, do your second one, and then I'll do my yeah. only one. And I got Apollo 8, I don't know. It's a book about space, and I think sometimes you got to read a book about space. I don't know. I'll, I'll let you know how it is. If your name is Patrick, though. Right. It's... Everyone. Patrick loves space. Right? No, I mean, not, not especially. Disagreeable. Okay, so I got one book and one book only, uh, The Night by Jean Wolfe, part one of the two book series. <laughs> I guess I've written, uh, read a lot of Jean Wolfe this year, too. Um... I was rewatching Lord of the Rings and got the itch, I think, for some uh, fantasy. And this is super fantasy so I mean, far. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's dragons, there's there's tree people, there's elves. But it's like it's a fantasy epistolary. Yeah, it's a epistolary novel. There's a a young boy who goes off on his own and is transported magically somehow maybe age change thingy no spoilers it's like first chapter um and yeah it's really dope i like gene wolf a lot sometimes i wonder if people call him a genius like because they like him a lot and maybe he isn't a genius but who am i to say I right you like gene wolf a lot i like him you're a fan you've read how many gene wolf books this year? <laughs> every interview i've seen with him is a bunch of nerds being like so tell me you know, chapter two, verse two. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. You just about. don't feel like the fans, but you are one. Yeah. That. And there's always so much boob talk. And it's just a graphic detail, which I, I'm not against. One? Yeah, I thought this was going to be child-centered. It's not. Nope. Uh, Gene Wolfe's a little pervert. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, reading wrap-up? Yeah. You have so many. So you want me to, to start? Yeah. Okay, so I finished <laughs> uh, Alice Walker's Revolutionary Petunias. Honestly, if it wasn't for BookTube and Patrick uh, shaming the shit out of me. Language. Um, I don't know that I would have finished it. I gave it four stars. Um, if the first little section I would have given five stars hands down. And then the rest of them I lost a little bit of um, interest, but I'm new to reading poetry, um, so I still rated it kind of high. And um, yeah, the in these dissenting times, surrounding times in autobiography, page twenty or one to twenty six, I was like crying. Five stars. Five star. It's awesome. The rest of them, and then toward the end, there's a lot of love poems, and I just love poems. I don't know. They don't relate to me. I'm not love lorn. I'm not love sick. So I I didn't. What? I'm not love sick. I know. You think I'm love sick? Obviously not. Obviously not. Um, but yeah, finally finished it. Woohoo! And, um, you may remember this one from our very first Barnes & Noble book haul. Um, it's a novella. It's very short. And I, I finished it. The, I liked it a lot. Um, I'm glad I had read Born before reading this one, because, um, the stories are more interrelated than I thought. But yeah, fan of the book. I won't do a review on this one. Unless it's heavily requested. Unless it's heavily requested. Ha ha ha! Twelve viewers. <laughs> No, but um, I I like the book. I would recommend it, especially if you've read Born. It's a little darker than um than than the source material, and and I like that about it. It's it's pretty cool. Cool. So would recommend Born. Would the, recommend this? both Born. Yeah, read Born first, and then yeah, take the you know three hours it takes to read this book. <laughs> cool. Okay, and um, I 
also finished Pinin by Nabokov. Nabokov. No, whatever. What, what was the, the verdict? Um, five stars. That's great. <laughs> it was incredible. I mean, he's always incredible. And he always takes a little bit of time. I say always. I've read one other book of his. He, I feel like, you know, anything of that kind of quality takes a while to get into and, and is a little more challenging to read. Um, just the language, you know, long sentences, you know, unique descriptors and stuff like that. Um, but it was so good. I know. You got to read Pale Fire and I got to read this one. There's we'll a swap. little plug in Penin that winks at Pale Fire. Um, this album, this album, this novel came out before Pale Fire. Oh yeah. Oh, so who knows? Um, well, I think he planned. I think he knew what he was. He was probably uh, okay. knew what he's up to, but um, loved it. Would recommend it. Can't wait for Pat to read it. Maybe we can double review it. That'd double be fun, like a like a discussion. Mm -hmm. um, what else? What are you reading now? Oh. What am I reading now? Oh, yeah. Oh, and I'm, st I'm still reading this on my lunch breaks. New set in fiction. Uh, it's just flash fiction stories. Um, I'm more than halfway. 200 pages in. Loving it. I was reading some reviews, and a lot of people trash it. They're like, oh, it's not fully formed uh, stories. I'm like, duh. It's flash fiction. That's, also, that's a very old book, right? You got that, what, I'm going to guess, 2008? Uh, yeah, I got it for school. Um, and I'm very young, so. <laughs> like, okay. Hey. But, uh, yeah, not done with it. Loving it. What else? I think that's it. Okay, so, uh, if y'all have read any of those books, let us know what you thought. Uh, no spoilers on the night, though. Um, I think it's safe to say that you're allowed to spoil Apollo 8, though, right? They make it back. They make it back. Uh, what else? Bye. Bye.